Many tales are told of travelers through Appalachia encountering unearthly things of one kind or another. Today we tell a tale from the Ohio River area where Ohio, West Virginia, and Pennsylvania meet about a deadly place to spend the night. You're listening to Mountain Lore, Tales from Appalachia. As evening started settling in, a thick fog rolled in like an old quilt, making it nearly impossible for the timber rafts to navigate the big river. The mountains on the banks disappeared into the mist, and even the lights of the cottages of Liverpool were swallowed up. Big raindrops started falling, waves rocked the rafts, and the logs groaned and splashed in the uncertain current. The steersmen lit their watch lights and hollered out warnings to avoid crashes, all the while looking for some safe spot till morning came. On one raft headed down toward Marietta were two brothers, Jacob and Richie Vale. Now these boys had been river folks all their lives, but this time they felt a bit uneasy. The current and fog had pushed them close to shore, and as they searched for a calm spot, they spied a big building rising out of the darkness on a piece of land that jutted out into the river. They decided to steer towards it, tie up, and call it a night. The building didn't have any lights in the windows, but still, they knocked on the door. And to their surprise, a young woman opened it right up. She stood there holding a candle, and let me tell you, she made quite an impression. Medium height, with straight black hair and a pale face. One of her eyes was a pale blue, the other a dark brown, and she had an oddly attractive look about her. When she heard their plight, she invited them in, explaining that her place was a tavern for rafters. Well, Richie, being a bit of a charmer, asked if she was seeing anybody. She said she had been alone since her husband passed two years back. After a simple supper, Jacob, feeling totally exhausted, asked to be shown his room. Richie, on the other hand, decided to keep the widow company down by the fire. Jacob's room was more like a barn loft than a proper bedroom. One chair, a washstand, and a long-legged bed that seemed small in that big room. No loft above, just square-hued log rafters and a leaky roof. The woman handed Jacob her candle, wished him good night, and he settled in under several patchwork quilts, hoping for a peaceful sleep. But in less than five minutes, he was rudely awakened. First one quilt, then another, then another, got yanked from him by something he couldn't see and tossed to the other side of the room. He thought it might be Richie playing a prank on him, but when he looked, there was no one there. He tried to grab hold of the quilts, but they kept slipping away. Jacob got up, tried to light the candle, but in the pitch black, he couldn't find any matches. As he started for the door to call for help, unseen hands hurled him across the room where he struck the wall with a terrific thud. That's when things got downright eerie. The more he struggled, the more he was forced against that wall. Then the air started to rush around faster, faster, faster. It felt like a storm was raging in that room, tossing him around like a leaf. His clothes got thrown off the chair, his watch got busted, and he couldn't make heads nor tails of what was going on. Richie and the widow woman heard the commotion, and Jacob's desperate cries for help tried to get to him, but the door wouldn't budge. They beat and banged on that bedroom door, but no matter what they did, the door stood fast. Suddenly it flew open. Richie and the woman were hurled to the floor. Jacob fell down and just lay there limp, not moving. The quilts, meanwhile, whisked themselves across the room to the bed where they made themselves up as if nobody had ever laid down that night. After they came to their senses, all three of them found their way in the dark to the stairs and went down. Once downstairs, the woman tried her best to get Richie and Jacob to stay the rest of the night, but they cursed that tavern and the devils it held and left on their raft as soon as the first rays of light started to peek above the horizon. Later on, they met some other rafters who laughed when they heard the story. You see, it turns out that tavern had a reputation darker than a moonless night. 
Folks said it was haunted by the spirits of those who'd met a bad end there years back. Seems that woman's husband, two raftsmen, and a traveler were murdered in that very room after a dance two years before. Ever since, it's said, there's been hellish happenings there, and it's pretty certain one night would be all you'd ever want to spend there. The odd-eyed young woman was forced to abandon the premises for lack of customers. For a number of years, the structure was unoccupied, eventually used for a cow stable until the 1889 flood carried it away. That strange-eyed widow and her haunted tavern faded into legend, a warning for anyone brave enough to wander the river's edge. So if ever you find yourself drifting down that river and the fog starts rolling in thick, remember the tale of Jacob and Richie Vale and steer clear of those haunted shores along the big river. And that, folks, is the story of the Haunted Tavern, another one of the tales of Appalachia. Thanks for listening. Be sure to subscribe to the Mountain Lore Podcast. You'll find us on Spreaker, Apple Podcasts, Spotify, Good Pods, Player FM, or on your favorite podcast app. And if you ever find yourself in an old tavern along a river on a foggy night, remember, sweet dreams, podcast listeners. <laughs>